In this course, we are going to see how to simulate a robot using a URDF format in ROS. Uh, URDF format is nothing but universal robot description format. Uh, simulating the robot in ROS, we needed this format to simulate and visualize uh, sensor outputs using ROS. What is the course outcome? Fusion 360, URDF, design a robot and four wheel robot. Uh, finally, you will go out. Uh, what is URDF? Universal robot description format. So description can use and to simulate the robot in ROS and taking the realistic and synthetic data which is available on Gazebo. And two main components of these links and joints will be the main part of URDF. And it will be give the cohesion, inertia, geometrical, all the things will be available on URDF format. So only the ROS users and all the robot simulation will be taken over by the URDF format. And what is plugin? After designing a URDF format, you need a plugins to drive your robot in simulation world. For controlling the wheel, you have a plugin like differential plugin, skid steering plugin for LADAR, you have a LADAR plugin. For camera, you have a camera plugin. For IMU, you have an IMU plugin. All the things will be available on Gazebo official website. Using plugins, you can functionality and can message service calls from the sensors input and outputs will be drives by the plugins. Okay, now we are going to see how to do the URDF model using Fusion 360. First, we need to set the orientation of the URDF uh, for designing the robot. For that orientation, we need to fix the frame from X, Y, X, Z, Y in uh, top view angle after that draw the rectangle on the surface in top view uh, the dimension of 150 and 75 is a dimension after fixing the dimension go, go to finish and do the extrude for doing the 3d 2d to 3d conversion we need to extrude the rectangle uh, extrude to 50 mm and enter it give enter after give the extrude value give enter after that we need to give the fillet fillet is for for the edges we need to give the flat surface or smooth surface in the edges of the rectangle give 5 15 mm fillet to the edges of rectangle after giving fillet we need a for designing the fusion 360 model robot we need a five bodies like uh, base link right wheel left wheel and right wheel back left wheel back these are totally now five components and lidar sensor is sixth component of the robot now we design the rectangle model is a base base link of the robot. After that, we need to create a soft in four ends of the robot for wheels joints. Okay. Now we we need a soft motor soft in the end. So we are drawing we are draw one line from that edge to this edge in 30 mm and draw the one circle for the motor soft. Okay. After draw 15 mm circle for the soft, this circle should be joined with a base link. It's not a separate body, okay? Please uh, notice it's not a separate body. This is a joint of the base link. After that, do the X screw for motor shaft enter it and in right side we created in left side also we need to create the motor shaft go to left side click that uh, surface and create a sketch in that sketch right click and right click 
do the sketch go to line and draw the line this edge right left side to right side in 30 mm and right side to left side 30 mm and draw one circle 15 mm draw one circle and that 50 mm circle is a soft it should be attached with the base link it's not a separate body okay in that soft only we are going to draw wheel wheel is a separate body After draw the circle, please do the screw to 5mm and enter it. Now we create a 4 soft in 4 ends and now we need to draw the circles in 4 ends of the soft. Uh, now we need to change the name from base link. Okay, give base link. After change the base link, uh, we need a right side front angle and right side back angle we need to change the angle wise okay so that the right side front wheel and the left side front wheel you need to create in the wheels so the wheel of the dia is 30 mm And do the screw shun, a screw okay to draw on the wheel this is a wheel setup and in left side also we need to draw the wheels in 30 mm dia go to that soft click that and create a sketch after creating sketch go and click the soft go to the circle now draw the one circle in 30 mm and after that draw another circle on left side after that Extrude it. Put the screw and did the screw for 2D to 3D convention. Now we created a four wheels for our robot. Is it script steering method? It have a plugin in my GitHub account. I will give the github account in my description after that we need to draw the LiDAR sensor in top of the robot so first we need to create one surface for the LiDAR after that we need to on that surface we need to create LiDAR sensor in 3D model After creating the surface uh, on the top of the robot, we need to create a sketch on that surface for drawing the ladder. Now go to the screw and uh, made the ladder sensor first and extrude it. You see on left side you have base link that four components are on four bodies are the wheels and now we created a, another body that's in ladder body so like that you need to create the design okay 
the base link is separate the wheel is separate body left wheel separate body right wheel left separate body back right wheel is separate body and lada sensor is separate body we need to create a separate not a joint okay before that base link we create a soft that is a joint of the base link that is not a separate body okay you understand take the example of a real world robot the robot base will be separate and wheels are separate body motors are also separate body but motor will be fixed with the base frame so we create a base link with an soft so that both are in joints now the body is in uh, wheel is in separate body after that create a holes on the ladder by using a tangent tangent plane on that uh, ladder surface and draw the two circles for transmitter receiver signals holes on the ladder sensor yes after that do the extrude cut for inside cut depth cut on the ladder sensor for transmitter receiver signals now we did the ladder sensor like an structure on simulation after that go to the bodies and say change the name of the bodies click it the uh, click it in left side of the panel and give the name of the wheels and ladders after giving the name give the appearance for the robot by clicking the appearance we give red or black color after that create uh, components from the body right click the body and create a components after creating a components go to bodies and right click we have an components option click it that create a body from components right click now the components is created after creating components we need to do the motion study for wheels we need to give the revolute and for ladder we need to give rigid okay go to assembly on top we have an assembly before that our robot is fixed with an base link and wheel is in depth so we need to take that from the depth to the current position so go to the tangent plane and give the tangent to the wheel and measure the wheel to the base link how much is 15 15 cm so move the whole robot top to 15 cm after uh, changing that after moving the robot from surface to current position we need to give some motion study like re revolute joints assembly the revolute joints for the links click the wheels and click the joints of the both and give the revolute joint for the wheels and for ladder we need to give the rigid the ladder is a fixed frame and wheel is a mobile okay ladder will be fixed on the top of the robot it it no need to rotate but that uh, wheels should be rotated so we need to give the joints like an revolute for ladder we give the rigid after giving the joints we need to go to utilities after that we need to convert the urdf to you uh, sorry fusion to urdf go to utilities in utilities you have an add in the add add a script and you have urdf exporter and click that one and run it now we successfully created the urdf format
Now we create successfully the UIDF format from your Fusion 360 to UIDF.